So here we are, 1GD FTV, and I'm going to give you an important bit of information about the uh, blanking plate. We've got an ARB light there ready to show you about not only where it goes, but what problems you could have. We'll have a little chat about that in a minute. But there was someone that mentioned in the comments, oh, where did you hide mod 123456? Because they saw a video that's got 7, 8, and 9. Well, as we said, we've got a competition where you can win one of these batteries free. Absolutely free. There's going to be one of these batteries, but it needs to be picked up. So you might not be listening if you're not around Melbourne or in Victoria, that sort of thing. And the details of the competition could be anywhere in our videos. And I'll recap it again later in other videos. So now might be the time to subscribe and turn the bell on so you don't miss it. But the information you need to win the battery could be on our YouTube channels, either one of them. You've got 4 Before Diesel and 4 Before Adventures. It could be on one of our Facebook pages like Oz Prado Crew if you're in Australia. And uh, so you need to be on all these places checking regularly or with your notifications turned on so you can go bank. There it is. And number 10 is the window tint. You might not have even seen that one yet, but I'm putting it in this video. The window tint with a value of $450 for the purpose of the exercise. Now, this video was to answer a question. Some people said, oh, you know, I put a plate in, I'm getting a P0400. Now, this is what can happen, okay? Even with a 1KD, you know, on the 1KD, the plate goes around here at the end of the EJ cooler down under there. It's got a 7mm hole. Works really well on at least 99, 999 out of 1,000, I'd say. Probably more than that. No problems. But if you've got some sort of blockage or something not working right in the system, there's a possibility, possibility of getting a P0400. And on that note, I still come across lots of people that get, whether it's a P0400 or a um, 2006 or a 1251 or a 0046 turbo or intake related, and they end up in limp mode, and they still haven't got their auto fix 3210. So if you're in Australia, Trevor Ryan, Dirt Road 4x4 in Werribee, auto fix 3210, it's a little Bluetooth dongle, plugs into your plug. You get the app on your phone, they're designed to work together, it's really simple, gives you other information, it's got a bit of a dashboard there. There's other systems, I don't care what you use, I'm just giving you the easy one, that I know someone who's a good bloke that can sort you out with one of those, because when you get this code and you're on the side of the road going, oh, what's this, and you just want to ask Facebook, the engine light doesn't, we, we, it could be anything, what are we going to start guessing, here, 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 you need to be able to scan it to give the information to work out where it's at, okay? Now... So make sure you got that, the Autofix 3210, Autofix Australia, Google it, Autofix Australia, Trevor Ryan, Dirt Road 4x4 in Werribee. Anyway, back to do with the plate. You need So if you've got a P0400, the only way you're going to know, the vehicle doesn't tell you that, you need to take it to a dealer, which you might not be near a dealer. It could be anywhere. They could be closed. You might want to know right now, like me, I want to know right now, what's that code? So we can ask someone like me or someone else or go on our Facebook groups and go, What's the problem? So the first thing you need is something to read the code. Once you've got that, happy days. Now, the plate on the 1GD that kon.com.au sell, they also have it on eBay, the Kon 4x4, it goes down there, right? So right there, you take that. They're very difficult to get these nuts off. Probably better when the vehicle's new and you might need some special tools, but there's one nut right there and there's another one down underneath there. And they can be quite difficult to get to. Let's just have a closer look, right? You can see the top one. And the bottom one and in there with that gasket you put a plate now i'm not telling you what to do i'm not telling you what's legal or not it may be illegal depending what country what state right gray area and a lot of the write-ups and um so i'm not telling you whether to do it or not i'm telling you in the one kds we have seen massively caked up manifolds and a vehicle running like that isn't environmentally friendly so it's a rob peter Pay Paul, you know, you're going to look, you know, you're going to meet these emission standards. Well, for a little while, maybe. Anyway, I'm not going to go on about it. Um, there's definitely an issue there. And re-engineering, reducing the EGR flow works really well on those. That's tested and proven. And you can still get a P0400 every now and then, like I said, if something in the system's not working right. Now, with these, these came out in 2015. That was six or seven years ago. And I had, I basically said, it's a new thing. Don't touch it. You know, wait, just hold position. And at no time have I ever said purchase a 1GD until now. But don't just go and buy one because there's lots of reasons not to buy one as well. But now they are definitely acceptable, as I said in another video. But people are putting this plate in. One of the people back in 2015 when they came out that got a 1GD, he was good, nice enough to message me. And he said, look, I put a plate with a 7mm uh, hole. I got a 
P0400, I'll put an 8mm hole, P0400, P0. anyway, he came up with a 13mm hole, so his independent testing, one millimetre at a time, he got 13mm was okay, right, now, independently, Kaon did their own little bit of testing, I believe, or well, they may have had people involved in it, but independent to what I, my information, and they also came up with 13mm, that's why there's a plate with a 13mm hole that goes down in there on a 1GD, right, this video isn't about telling you to do it or not, I'm not going to be answering this video if I'm going to do it or not, okay, I'm going to tell you what can happen and what I've experienced, there's some people that have put that plate in that get P0400s, but most people have got the plate in and they don't have any issues, so the, the issue could be it just needs to have a little bit bigger hole like a 14mm or a 15 so I'm answering the question to what do I think about I've got the plate and I'm getting an engine light, well what I think is it's not getting enough EGR flow, now I do know of a vehicle that did 60,000 Ks, um, about 50,000 of that at least with a plate in there, and it got the P0400 a couple of times, but not until at least 40,000 Ks, it was more like around 50,000 Ks, so what it's saying is, brand new perhaps it works, not on every vehicle, because every vehicle is going to vary a little bit, you know what I mean, a little bit from this one to that one, so from new generally it works, but once intakes and things start to cake up over the other side, and it reduces the flow, that combined with this possibly causes some problems because of that example I know of that at 50,000 it happened and then it happened again at about 60,000 but thousands of kilometres apart so it's not a big problem especially if you've got that auto fix 3210 and you can just clear it, you can go boom look P0400 not a bad code to have, well it's not good when you get limp mode and all this sort of thing but if you can clear it, happy days so this video was mainly to answer that question um, about the plate so, look, you might want to try it, but given the difficulty of putting them in there, you might not want to not put one in there, or you might want to increase to a 14mm hole, um, but then it gets to the point, well, is it worth even having there? I don't know the answers to those questions. These vehicles haven't been around long enough. We haven't seen a whole heap of inside intakes caked up, and we're not really going to go looking too hard and just start doing the big sell on people to get their intakes off and make some money so we can tell you how bad it is or not. It's going to be like it was with the 1KDs, and it's a matter of waiting until there's some issues. And, you know, like 2006's intake manifolds blocked up, intake runner, you know, those butterflies, they're stuck, they're not moving. Um, engine's just losing power, they can't breathe. You look at the intake and it's choked up like a 10 cent piece, you know, a hole that should be, you know, this big is like, you know, that big. Uh, hello, it's going to get the air at once, but it's going to be really difficult and choked up once it's almost completely blocked. So that's kind of what's going to happen. So if you've got a 1GD and you're around Melbourne and you feel that it's lost a lot of power, it's blowing a lot of smoke or it's noisy, if you've got any of these issues older vehicles have, then obviously maybe get into us or one of our workshop partners and uh, we can possibly look into if what re rectification needs to be done and then possibly how well the plates are working because there's a whole heap of these vehicles with a plate in there. Um, so obviously I think it's going to reduce the EGR flow, that's what I think about it. We know EGR and soot is the real problem, but being this type of engine, it's going to run a lot cleaner than an old one. So cleaner engine, good injectors, it's going to be running clean, so there's less soot, less carbon in the combustion, you know, to start off with. And the system's a little bit different, the way it works, it's not just a close the throttle body flap to make the EGR, it's, it's a bit different, and, and the way it's set up, it might not affect the intakes as much as some of the previous design engines. So look, we don't know, time will tell. So if you're asking questions about the plate, kon.com.au, they've got it on there on eBay, 13 mil hole. Most people are successful with that, but be prepared, and when I say be prepared, have your auto fix 3210. If you get the P0400, um, be prepared to clear it. And if you get it a lot, then you might have to take it out, drilling it out to 14 or 15, one by one. You know, maybe leave the nuts a little bit looser, not loose, but enough to, you know, maybe put some uh, put some copperies on them so they don't, you know, rust up and get super tight on you. But look, they do need to be tight, so there's there's the issue there. Anyway, you may have to drill the hole out. You may need to scan it and clear it. But if you can, if you've had a P0400 issue on a 1GD FTV, please put it in the comments. Well, only those that waited to the end will do that. But if you like the video, I'm trying to help you here and answer the questions. Um, yeah, like it, subscribe it, turn the bell on, and like I said, was that in, did I mention this video? We've got a free battery. You just need to keep track of all the mods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've done so far, and at some stage in a video, and it'll be later in a video, I'll possibly recap on what those modifications are. But for now, we're ready. Hopefully, that answers some questions for you.
have a great day guys see ya mod number 10 is the window tent and for the exercise the value 450